We do EM imaging because we want to look at connections between the different neurons. And these are very small, they are size of nanometers. And EM is really the only technology that allows us to see these connections. The volume of tissue that we're going to look at, it's one cubic millimeter, which might seem very small. But w when we look at the scale that we need to look at this cubic millimeter, it will contain more than a quadrillion pixels. That's uh, thousands of pixels more than the number of stars in our galaxy. It contains 100,000 neurons, this one cubic millimeter. These 100,000 neurons are connected by approximately four kilometers of cable of axons then form approximately one billion of these connections. We'll take uh, mouse brains that have been fixed with a chemical fixative and cut them into thick sections about 60 microns each. That's about less than a third of the diameter of a human hair. Those thin sections then get further processed with other chemicals and stains. So then those thick sections will get dehydrated, put into a plastic resin that enables them to be sectioned in our ultra microtomes. You put the block in the holder and then you start to cut with the knife. And those will be then cutting sections that are about 40 nanometers. You need to record also the order exactly of the parts. 40 nanometers is, is just a few hundred atom layers, really. It's very slow, you need to be very patient and very precise. In principle, electron microscopy is very similar to optical um, imaging. It's just instead of using photons, we're using uh, electrons. The difference between electron microscopy and optical microscopy is that we get a very high resolution of our images. This technology has been around for almost 70 years, and we're modifying it to basically have a giant projector lens to get a very wide field of view and to do high throughput imaging. Transmission electron microscopy basically works on the principle of light and shadow. We call this the TEMCA, and that means a transmission electron microscope camera array. It's an array of lenses to basically act as a very fast camera without having to um, use a very slow, large sensor. a team of interns who are reconstructing neurons in serially sectioned um, electron microscopy sections. This allows them to interact with many people throughout the institute and learn, learn from them as well. They have all said to me uh, that they're really impressed with the teamwork that they've seen at the Allen Institute. Reconstructing a neuron can take um, anywhere from two to five days depends how much of the cell is contained within our EM volume. Tracing them all the way from the soma out to as far as we can. Sometimes that's to the end of the dendrite, sometimes that's to the edge of the EM volume. This project is so vast, there's so much you could continue tracing for years on just what we have. What we'll be moving toward is uh, instead of a manual pickup of each individual section by a human, uh, it will be an automatic pickup of in each individual section coming off the block onto this tape drive so that instead of having a, simple, a person doing it uh, one by one, we'll have it as a stream and we can collect upwards of uh, 5,000 uh, sections per day as opposed to a human who might be picking up 500 in a week. To image the volume of brain tissue that we want to look at, we'd have to take about 250 million images. 
just for a thought experiment, 250 million images would take about 14 years. Here at the Institute, we're trying to push that forward and automate the process so that we can take those images in a much shorter time. That 14 years will be compressed into about nine months. We're trying to automate with um, very tiny mechanized processes to move the grids along and also image at the same time. So to automate this process, instead of turning dials and looking at where you're going to be, we're just going to take an image of the whole piece of tissue and that will increase our throughput tremendously. We have people in-house working on the automated tracing. We are also have a collaboration with Google to have them work on automating this process as well.